Of all the questions I've been asked over the years about cadavers, body workers tend to ask me one question more than anything else. Can you see trigger points in the muscle tissue? Now this is a more difficult question to answer than it may seem at first. And the reason being is that we don't have a solid understanding of what a trigger point is to begin with. How can you find something if you don't even really know what it is? If you're interested in knowing more about this, I'll put a link in the description to a blog I wrote for Massage Magazine on this very topic. In essence though, it boils down to one thing and it's a simple lack of research being performed on trigger points. The problem comes from the fact that there really isn't much money to be made on researching trigger points. I get that trigger point injections exist and there's money to be made off of them, but those same anesthetics and corticosteroids are used in other dysfunctions. So there is no medication or treatment that is solely specific to trigger points. Now, I'm sure that point is debatable, but from a pharmaceutical and medical device point perspective, there just really isn't much money to be made on researching trigger points. So what we're left with is a bunch of opinions and not a lot of rigorous data. Now, that doesn't mean that the varying opinions on trigger points are wrong. It just simply means that no one can definitively tell you what a trigger point is. Now, with that said, I've looked a lot for these trigger points. I mean, that was one of my very first questions when I started to spend time around cadavers. I've even gone as far as to ask some of the world's leading experts if they've ever seen a trigger point with their own eyes. The response I've always gotten back, and which also happens to be my own experience as well, is that no, you can't see them. At the same time, you gotta take this with a grain of salt. These experts weren't looking for trigger points in the first place, right? We can't fault them for not seeing something they weren't looking for. And that doesn't mean that because they didn't see it, that it doesn't exist. Also, when you're dissecting, it can be very difficult to preserve the underlying muscle tissue, especially if that's not really your concern. Damage can happen and that can erase any potential evidence of a trigger point. I mean, just look at this tissue right here. You can tell that it's been disturbed by hands, dissection, and just father time in general. Who's to say that there wasn't evidence that got dissected away as we were cleaning up the tissue? I mean, these things are difficult to tell. Now we also got to take into account the fact that these cadavers are fully embalmed, right? The embalming process is pretty intense. It denatures proteins and changes the texture and color of the tissues. It's entirely possible that the embalming process destroyed any potential evidence of these trigger points. But I've also never talked with anybody who's willing to definitively say that they found a trigger point in an unembalmed body. Are there peculiarities that are found from time to time? Absolutely. But my issue has always been, how do you know that's a trigger point, right? And you see this in the bodywork realm all the time, right? You'll feel a nodule, you'll feel something, and people will automatically jump, oh, that's a trigger point. And I always just fall back to like, how do you know that? Like, I, I get that it's tender, but that could be a whole smorgasbord of things, right? We have to kind of take a step back and ask ourselves, how do you know that's a trigger point, right? And from an autopsy perspective, from a dissection standpoint, I don't know how you can even tell if something's a trigger point. I'm not willing to say that trigger points don't exist. I think that would be foolish for me to say, oh, just because I haven't seen them with my cadavers, they do not exist. At the same time though, I think this is a big problem within our industry. You have a lot of modalities all claiming to have the answer in regards to these tender points, yet I don't know how they know that beyond physical touch. And again, I'm not trying to say that physical touch doesn't matter. I mean, we're massage therapists, but we also can't say that's all that matters. And maybe we do see results when we do trigger point therapy or whatever version that modality may have of a trigger point therapy. It's not as though we don't see results, but the question is, is that because of just the simple body work itself or did we do something to the trigger point? And I just, this is a tough question that I don't know how we answer without research. So can you see trigger points? Um, you know, I don't think so. Personally, I really don't. I mean, I could I could be wrong, right? I mean, I'm sure there's probably someone down there like, no, look at this. And I mean, I'm, I'm happy to change my mind. I'm happy if you show me um, evidence of trigger points existing and being seen definitively and it's not something else. I mean, I, I'm, I'm totally on board, right? I'm not sound like I'm against trigger points and I want them to not exist, right? Like I don't get some kind of sick satisfaction by there being very little evidence of trigger points. Um, 
I'm just, from everything I've seen with my own eyes and the research I've done, I just don't know what's going on with these things. I mean, I could be wrong on this, but I've spent countless hours around these cadavers. Um, I, I, I've inspected muscle tissue very closely over the years. And I guess I'm just kind of at this point where I'm not holding my breath that these things are gonna be found, um, at least in muscle tissue. Right? I mean, I have my own suspicions about what they could be, but that's what they are. They're just suspicions, right? I'm not saying like, oh, look, I found the answer, right? That's, that seems pointless to me to kind of come at it that way. Um, but I mean, that's where I stand. I just don't know, but I don't think you're gonna find them. I, I, just, I just really don't. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you learned something and it wasn't just me rambling for what felt like forever. Uh, if you did enjoy this, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.